So guys, as we promised, this is the next video, how to attempt the gate exam. In this video, I wish to discuss with you some of the points that you should follow in the last days before the gate exam and also how you should attempt the exam on the gate. So basically now only a few days are left for the gate exam. What I propose is that you should not study anything new concept. Because what happens when you start studying any new concepts, you fail to revise the concepts that you have already studied. And the only key to scoring well in gate exam is to revise and revise again and again. So better revise your concepts that you have already studied. As I am sure that most of the aspirants would have covered about 80% of the exam. And if you do well in whatever you have studied, then also you have a good chance of scoring big in the gate exam. But if you go about new concepts, that will also reduce your confidence as well as that will not help you with the concepts that you have already studied. Next thing is that on the night before the gate exam, I suggest that all of you stop studying 12 hours before the exam. Because what happens is when you start a new subject or when you revise any old subject, you will always feel or think that you have forgotten any new subject. So that will lessen your confidence and that will keep you in a cycle that you will keep on revising again and again and that will always decrease your confidence. So better stop studying 12 hours before the exam. Whatever you have studied would be sufficient in the gate exam. Next thing is that in this last few days you should not, not uh, you should better control your emotions so that you are neither overexcited nor depressed. Because what happens is that if you are scoring well in the mock test, then you might be able to, you might get overexcited. And if you are not scoring well, then you may get depressed. But if whatever your score is, you should always try to improve and you should not uh, let your emotions get the better of you. Next thing is that before the gate exam, try to be, try to stay fit and healthy. So avoid overeating, avoid health, uh, oily foods and on the day of gate exam, have a light breakfast. Because what happens if you have a heavy breakfast, then you might feel sleepy during the exam hours. And that will decrease your performance. That will firstly affect your performance as I have seen with most of the aspirants. So these are some of the points that you can keep in mind during these last few days and you can give your 100% in these days so as to get the better level. Now I will discuss with you how to attempt the gate exam once you have decided the examination form. So gate exam consists of 65 questions out of which 10 questions are for aptitude and 55 are of technical section. So what I did during my gate exam was I first attempted one mark technical question that was 25 questions. So I tried to attempt those in 45 minutes. Then I moved on to the aptitude section so that I would attempt the aptitude section in, it in at the most 20 minutes. Then that means that aptitude section just gives me a break between the two technical sections. So that helps me get my focus back and that helps me get over the depression if I am not able to attempt most of the technical questions. So what happens if you are uh, continuously attempting the technical section, you may get saturated and then you will not be able to point your mistakes whatever you are counting. So rather use the aptitude section as a breathing space between the two technical sections so that you, your mind is refreshed and you get your focus back. So I suggest that aptitude section and one mark technical question should be attempted within one hour and then you can move on to the two marks question so that you can devote more time. Because what happens in two mark question, there will be some numerical type problems as well and most of those problems are lengthy. Though they do not fetch any negative marks, but if you attempt those correctly, then you have a better chance of succeeding in gate. So try to devote more time to numerical type problems so that you can attempt them correctly and you can recheck your solution because there are no options so you don't know whether you are getting a correct answer or not. So try to focus more on those problems so that you can attempt a 2 mark section within 1 hour or 1 hour 15 minutes. So that your entire paper is attempted in first row within 2 or 2 and a half hours. Then what you have left is 30 to 45 minutes in which you can go and check out the questions that you marked earlier or that you were not feeling confident and that you want, or those you wanted to attempt at the end. So this way you will get uh, around 4 to 5 mistakes, you will be able to point your 4 to 5 mistakes as happened with me twice ago. So I was able to point mistakes in my 4 to 5 problems and that easily fetched me for 5 to 10 marks. So that uh, helped me improve my score and believe me guys once you go over the exam again then you will be realizing that you have committed a lot of mistakes. So this 30 to 45 minutes period is very crucial. If you are only attempting the gate exam once in 3 hours, then you will be committing a lot of mistakes. So the key to attempt gate exam in 2 and 2 or 2 and a half hours is to better uh, try not to give too much time to a single problem. If you are feeling stuck in a single problem, then better move ahead to the second problem. 
because every problem will have equal weighted either one mark or two mark. So ne uh, never get too attached with the problem. Uh, if you are feeling uncomfortable, then move on to the next one. Better attempt that uh, earlier problem at the last of the exam. So this way you will be not getting stuck in any problem and you will attempt the weight exam as early as possible. The next thing is that you should not uh, judge the level of an exam by one or two problems. What happens if you are having two difficult problems at the beginning of the exam? You may feel depressed and if you are having easy problems then you may feel excited. That way if you are bringing your emotion into the gate exam then it will adversely affect your performance. Other thing is that if even if you know the solution to a problem you should not be over excited. Because what happens is that a candidate adversely affects his performance if he is over excited in the exam. So people don't lose their rank because they did not know much. But rather they lose their rank because they did not do well in whatever they knew. So better try to attempt whatever you know correctly and try to do your best in that. So that way if even if you know the solution to a problem, try to attempt it with a calm mind so that even if you take one, one and a half minutes, then your solution will be correct. Otherwise in over excitement you may miss some of the points, some of the trick in the gate question which is very common and you will attempt it wrongly. So guys keep these points in mind during the gate exam and I wish you all the best to all the gate 2015 aspirants so that you do well in your gate exam and give you 100%, have faith in your ability and stay away from all the negativity around you. Thanks and best of luck.